What is up, y'all? Welcome back to another reaction video from the Wall of Death podcast. This time, I am taking a look at a brand new single from Like Moths to Flames titled Predestination Paradox. I have been holding out for several days because I think the song released on, what, Friday? And now it's Sunday, so I have I have patiently waited to, to get a few minutes to check the song out for the first time. So this will be my first time listening to the song, so you'll get my first time reaction from it. As far as my history with Like Moths to Flames, my, my buddy Tyler kind of put me on them. Um, I listened to their last album, which was No Eternity in Gold. I also listened to their uh, EP, which was called Pure Light Porcelain, and I loved the EP. That that one came out, what, in 2021, I think? That was, right, that was like the first year I was starting the uh, Wall of Death podcast. That did not make my top 10 yet year, mainly because I had chosen to not include EPs into my top 10 list. Uh, if I did, it would have been in my top 10 releases of the year, without a doubt. So it was one of my, my favorite releases of 2021. Uh, and then I listened to No Eternity in Gold. Really, really loved that. I reviewed that on the Wall of Death podcast, which you can get access to by going to patreon.com slash two game. So not a huge huge um, investment in this band. Uh, I couldn't tell you what their older music sounds like, but I am definitely interested in some of their new music now that I've kind of gotten into No Eternity in Gold and Pure Light Porcelain. I love the the angry, angry screams, vocals, and uh, some of the lyrics are absolutely fantastic. Pure Light Porcelain, I think every song on that was, no pun intended, golden as far as the lyrics go. So I am definitely super excited to check this song out and Tyler doesn't know that I'm reviewing this, but it's a little surprise for him. So let's go ahead and check it out. Three, two, one. Set the mood a little bit. Some sick. Say, I wasn't expecting you. This is my intro. There we go. Oh, 
for a breakdown but i think that whole damn song was a breakdown when you listen to the to the chunks the entire time like holy crap um yeah i was i was not expecting slow and heavy i was more i was expecting more like fast paced with uh, a bunch of breakdowns honestly um but yeah i uh i like that chorus more and more as it as it kind of played at first i was like uh I think I dig that, but it's not like a traditional super melodic chorus, so I couldn't see myself like really sing along with it. But I think the more I listened to it, the more it kind of grew on me. Uh, but yeah, the slow and heavy, I'm totally down for that. And then the best part, I, I don't know what noise came out of his mouth. It, it was like a rat, <laughs> a demon, I, I don't even know. But those high-pitched screams were fantastic absolutely fantastic um i think this is a great song honestly uh i could see myself listening to this multiple times adding it to multiple playlists and i will most likely do that as far as how does it compare to some of the other songs that i've listened to from like moss of flames i i don't think it compares to some of the some of the bigger hits from no eternity gold and pure like porcelain I still think I like some of those songs a lot more, but I think this is still a great track. I think it's worth checking out um, on a consistent basis, not just right now. Uh, slow and heavy, really dug it. And like I said, I was expecting a breakdown or two, but I honestly, after kind of thinking about it, I think like the second half of that song is just one huge breakdown when you, when you think about it. Uh, but yeah, great track, and uh, y'all let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, and you can find us out on Facebook as well. Again, if you want more in-depth reactions to albums, I do album reviews every single week, and then I rank and rate those in this big, big list. So if that's something that uh, intrigues you, go to patreon.com slash 2game. That is the number two. Support us at any of those tiers, and that's how you get access to the Wall of Death podcast. But I appreciate y'all joining me for this, and I will catch y'all next time on another reaction.